Hello, my friends. We're coming to you this week with a little bit of inspiration and prayer time, um, and hopefully that will be something to lift you up during the middle of this week. We are in this time of chaos and time of uncertainty, and everything around us seems to be breaking apart. And so I thought it would be good to review something that I think we've talked about a little bit before. I've used it, it's kind of a metaphor for life, but there is a Japanese art called kintsugi or kintsukore, and it is, the meaning of it is to repair with gold or to have golden seams. And the idea of it comes from a repair that was made long ago in the tradition. In the 15th century, it said that there was a Japanese military commander and he had a favorite teapot, but it broke. And so he wanted it repaired, not discarded. He sent it away to be repaired, and a common technique at that time was to try and staple it together. Now, I don't know about you, but staples and pottery don't seem to go too well, especially with a teapot. It didn't work. And he sought another way and consulted with artisans of the time. And then we find references much later on to this wonderful art of Japanese repair. I have a necklace that I wear often. It has two hearts on it that come and have meaning for me from some special people. But you can also see that they have been repaired that they have veins of gold in them. And they were done by an artist who specializes in kintsugi. The idea of kintsugi or kintsukori is to not hide the damage, but to emphasize it and to make it more beautiful. And I'm wondering if the time that we are in with all the damage that has been done to our world and the time that we are in where it seems that we are doing damage to each other, if we might not remember this gentle art of repairing with gold, that we might seek not to ignore damage that has been done, but instead to repair it with something even more precious. In the book of Isaiah, the prophet talks about the things that will happen in the future. And these prophecies come, and Isaiah 58, 12 says, Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to live in. I think that's part of the prophecy of Jesus, that Jesus had come into our world broken at that time to repair, not to ignore, to restore and continue on and raise up faithful generations. We are in such a time as this now. And we are called to be repairers of the breach and restorers of the nations. So remember, at least for this week and perhaps for weeks to come, that this is part of your call to repair with gold, not to ignore the things that have happened and are broken, but instead to acknowledge them and to repair them with something fine and precious because Jesus is there to do that with us and for us. Let's pray. God, you have called us into ventures unknown and pathways which we cannot see the ending of. Continue to walk with us as we seek to repair the breaches in our families, in our communities, in our nations. Help us to repair with gold 
and not to ignore the things that have happened, but to continue to appreciate them and to create out of them things of beauty. Amen. Have a good week, my friends, and we'll see you on Sunday for worship.